Well, it is well established in medical science, for example, that prognosis is better than diagnosis. Equally, in psychological sciences, developmental psychology offers those tools that we need in order to be able to understand some of the factors that influence development and then intervene in order to, of course, predict but also optimize developmental outcomes. If we understand, for example, the factors that influence developmental psychopathology or educational underperformance or exceptional ability, then we have a real opportunity to do something there to intervene in order to boost resilience and performance in various settings. Well, I didn't start out in psychology. Uh, I started off doing um, physics, which is very different. And uh, I really didn't enjoy that too much and then decided to kind of think what I felt would be practical and what I would enjoy. And around that time, I started uh, teaching music to children. And I thought I tried to involve those two things together and start to learn something that I really feel I could help people with and uh, have a proper impact. Um, so then I went in and did an undergraduate in psychology. Uh, where I, towards the end, started to specialise uh, working with children, developmental and like uh, developmental disorders. And then I went on to do this applied developmental psychology just because it kind of tied everything I enjoyed into one big subject. I always wanted to work with kids. And then um, for the past four years, I've worked with children who have autism. And I wanted to do something to further my education. And this one just seemed appropriate. I was very good at analysing things and over-interpreting things, which is what this course is based on. Like, you're given basic knowledge and then it's up to your own interpretation on how you develop on it. We do have uh, raising rates of mental health uh, across the board in young children, in adolescents uh, and in adults. So by understanding the mechanisms that influence individual differences in psychopathology, we can do something in order to, uh, as I said previously, predict and then boost resilience and optimize outcomes as opposed to uh, treating mental health, for example. It, ha it has actually made me grow a lot, especially in terms of research. Um, I did have some research skills before, but it really strengthened my research, my research skills. In, in general, uh, working with all the professors has been really nice. They're all very supportive, very professional, and they're all very passionate in what they do. And you can see that being in the classes, so that motivated me so much coming into classes to see just someone passionate teaching. It really helps you want to come to classes and want to do well. So this is a new and exciting opportunity this year, so we're really excited to be able to offer them a placement opportunity when they go out in January um, in the second semester uh, for approximately three months. On these placements, the students will be able to go in and support uh, young people to uh, learn, develop and grow and apply those theories that they have been um, learning in class. And the benefits to the placement organisation is that they get that psycho psychological lens that maybe they haven't had before to think about models and theories that um, would be applicable to the approaches that they're using. We do have a quite varied body of students. Most students will have an undergraduate degree in psychology or a relevant, a related field with strong research skills uh, and perhaps some experience in some cases working with children or adolescents. In terms of personal qualities, students typically will have uh, an internal motivation to do well. This is an intense, this is a difficult program uh, and uh, also a quite strong uh, focus and interest in understanding development, that is systematic continuities and changes in cognition, in personality, in behaviour, from conception uh, to death. So indeed, you can do developmental research with adults. I think it's been very good studying um, in a different place from where I'm from. I'm from Wicklow and I studied uh, my undergraduate in Dublin and I went to school in Dublin. So uh, moving up north and getting a different environment. A lot of the lectures are not from um, Ireland or the UK, so it's very interesting seeing lots of different perspectives and adding those different perspectives to my learning. It's definitely benefited me and prepared me in the sense that it's made me more understanding um, obviously the course prepares you to deal with loads of different situations, different people, different contexts of life and learn about those to deeper understanding. Therefore, I feel more prepared to go out into the world knowing a bit more. I don't think I would have been able to do as well as I am doing if people around me weren't very supportive. 
I, I, I made very good friends here and I, I go to the library with them, I study with them, so it has been really good for me.